Here's a question from Hannah. We have extremely heavy clay soil in the garden and I was thinking I might broad fork it to open it up and increase aeration and water infiltration. I plan to apply EMs, effective microorganisms, and a top dressing of compost to move this situation in the right direction. How often should I broad fork and how much disturbance is too much disturbance under these circumstances? Well, I don't have heavy clay soil, so I can't show you that. I have sandy loam, um, so this might make you a bit jealous. But this is my broad fork. It's a good one. All right. And um, the only time you need to broad fork is when you think it's, you, you've, you've created too much compaction. So um, this is uh, one of the main crop beds that got a bit overgrown uh, between uh, summer and winter, change of crop. Uh, we've just slashed it. I'd say it is a, a little bit compacted. It is compacted for us, right? So what I'll do is I'll just slam that in and, I'll, and you'd have to do it when you've got the right moisture content if you've got heavy clay. And I just work it down like that until I get to the bottom. So it depends where your subsoil is. But I actually hit the subsoil. I start to get a crunchy sandstone as I get to about there anyway. So there we go, we're all the way down. And then all I do is I, I, I put my foot on it. I lean backwards until I get it cracking. See that heave there? It just heaves. I'm not actually turning the soil. I'm just, it's just cracked and I've got a heave. Then I come back, so that's about, you know, just over a foot. I come back about the same distance. I go again. I work it down. It's already heaving because it's got a crack in front of it now. I get it to the bottom and I just lift it. I just get that heave. There's a crack in there, nice crack in there. Nice fractured crack there. I'm not turning it over, I'm just prying it. This is what gardeners used to use garden forks for in a small scale. You don't need a broad fork, you can do it with a, garden, a normal garden fork. But it's just a broad fork's really wide. See that, that cracking? I don't want to go much more than that. Nice cracking. Right, now just drop it back in, lift it out, and go again. So, down we go. We were going to do a video of this wearing spandex instead of uh, aerobics, you know. But we thought it might get a bit uh, bit too kinky, so we didn't do it. Here we go. <coughs> That's a nice pry in there, beautiful. And there we go, down the bed. You don't need to go to the gym, you just need to use a broad fork.